What's up, everybody, and welcome to another day in my life. This morning, we've got a podcast with Brad Lee. Acceptable behavior at three o'clock in the afternoon because you're a creative. So cheers, cheers. Let's go Vegas. I've been up since 5:30. I worked out, came back, worked for a little bit, and then I went and met Ethan and his parents, and we did their coaching, like their, our session. <clears throat> Typically, be a coaching call, but since obviously since we're here together, we did it in person. It was awesome. I wish I could do that with every one of the clients. From there, I had to go to the bank. I went to FedEx. Got to FedEx only to realize they rerouted my packages to a different FedEx location. Got there, picked them up, but only got three of them. They forgot to give me one. And then two packages got delayed. I was supposed to have six altogether. So now I've been opening watches and doing inventory. I have to go back to FedEx to try to find my other two. But I got a bunch of cool watches. So to start it off with, the first one is a 5164A, it's a Patek Nautilus, I'm sorry. It's a Patek Philippe Aquanaut, 5164, 50, ah, cut all of that, okay. <laughs> uh, so the first off, we've got a Patek Nautilus, oh my god. So the first one we've got is a Patek Philippe Aquanaut, 5167A on the rubber strap. The retail is 17, 18,000, and this thing sells for about 90 grand right now. One of these is missing, I have two of these. This is a Patek Philippe Nautilus 5712R. It's got the moon phase annual calendar. It's currently on an aftermarket strap and aftermarket bracelet because the owner wanted to preserve the real, the original strap and clasp. So that's all right there. That came in as a full set. I have another one we're about to go pick up, same thing. So I have two 5712s. I got in this Platinum Day Date. These two are not but I got in a brand new Platinum Day Date that's fully stickered that I haven't decided what to do with it yet. It looks, honestly, <clears throat> if you look at it, it looks really good in the collection. I traded two of my, two of my GP skeletons for that. So we'll see, what else did I get in? I'm missing a Batgirl and a 57, another 5712. Okay, let me write down some notes and then we gotta hurry up and get to FedEx. exciting. Brad, I've listened to his podcast for a couple years now. So hey. I'm doing good. How are you? I am. Shannon, nice to meet you. This is Brian following me around with the camera. Can I get you water or coffee? I'm good. We just uh, just had breakfast. That's awesome. Damn, I like this style. Comfortable? You want anything to drink? I'm okay. Thank you so much. I right oh, don't know why I'm nervous now. I guess you always kind of get nervous to stuff like this. It's actually kind of a another surreal moment. So when people come up to me and they're like really, really excited uh, for meeting me, I, it doesn't make sense to me. It's just seeing, I just, I feel like a normal person, but now I'm doing the exact same thing. Now I'm like excited to meet Brad, so it's kind of cool. What's going down? What's up, Brad? What's up, buddy? How are you, man? Nice to know you. Nice to meet you. This is Brian, my, uh, Brian was cracking dogs. My videographer. Hey, how are you, man? How you doing, man? Anthony. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've seen you on YouTube. I'm gonna get this. Find it. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> After the conversation I just had with you about <laughs> this watch, you don't want to know the price of that watch. What's that worth? <sighs> Let me see it. That is a Pablo McDonough white NTPT. The black, NT, the black NTPT brings like two point, let's just stay there, two point something million. Dang. White's even more. White's even more. Held yeah. Hand. What was I going to say? <clears throat> I guess I can't really talk because got to save it all for the podcast. All right, 
You want a Red Bull? No. Sure? Bro, we can pound them all there. They're free. <laughs> Love the setup over here. Am I right here? Hot seat. Nice. Where do you want people to get pushed? Personal YouTube. Anthony Fair. So I've, I do the daily videos. And I'm, I'm actually dropping the daily videos. I committed to doing a year of daily videos. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to uh, one video a week, which is what I did on my Timepiece Gentleman YouTube. And we're going to do an entourage style show. What it is, Brad Lee back again with another episode of Dropping Bombs. Today, folks, I've got a real treat for you, especially if you like timepieces. It's the Timepiece Gentleman, Anthony Ferrer. What's up, Brad? What's up, buddy? I would highly suggest you go to YouTube, type in Anthony Fair, spelled F-A-R-R-E-R. -R -R -E -R. Nailed it. You're kind of self-producing it. Yes. Like a little entourage show. Kind of like it. It's actually kind of where I got the, uh, the motivation for the new one. Showing so. high-dollar decadent experiences, I would think, because you're a high-value high watch dealer. Of course, you'll get, you'll get cheap ones, too. When I say cheap, for you, that's like 50K. The kind of the low point for us in expanding out to LA is going to be about 30,000. I don't want to cross below that. Yeah. We have two channels. You know, the, the new one is going to be a self branded channel. 20 years old, uh, just getting out of prison for the first time. Mm. What was the first one for? <laughs> uh, I ran from the police on a motorcycle through several cities and counties, and I just I didn't want to stop. I didn't want to get a ticket. Were you drunk? Unlicensed? What no. Was the problem? No. Completely legit. High Just, I, was I was 19 years old. I was a journaling junkie. Uh, it was 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I was doing a wheelie on Highway 75 in, in Dallas, along with a couple other friends. And a cop got behind us, turned on his lights, and, you know, standard protocol. You just take off running. Cop gets behind us, lights, it, lights us up. Nothing new for us. I, I was, you know, at that point, I'd probably run from police 20, 25 times. So the difference was this time I decided to stay on the highway and just try to outrun them. And what I realized, you know, I'm from a small town where I had, I had done this a lot. They don't have helicopters in small towns. It's hard to outrun a radio. Isn't it? it is, but in the country, you got tons. I mean, it, it, there's only two cops out there. Right. In the country, you've got a little more of an advantage than in Dallas where it's, you know, there was a cop waiting for me every quarter mile. Yeah. I was a young hothead, man. I was, I was very, uh, I went to private school, very reserved, very uh, disciplined as a kid, or very um, restricted is actually a better word. And you know, my parent, great parents had a lot of rules. The problem with it though, was I never really had a taste of the real world. How old are you now? 33. 33, so that's behind you. Far behind me. Folks, been wondering where to get the badass watches that's the dude the type of watches he messes with anything you want he can find hit him up go follow him nice you might get some deals from just that right so we need to run to when we leave here i need to run to fedex and get your watch got delayed yesterday sweet it's batman mm -hmm. it's technically it's oh, the those, bat those girl chump change watches it's a cool watch though <laughs> It's yeah, but for you, like for me, dude, they're fucking badass. Gerard Perigo. So I love that. But to the common person, they'll think it's a stainless steel yeah, date badass. just. Yeah, I may keep that. I've got, I have a big deal supposed to close today, and if it closes, I'm going to keep that. Oh, yeah, it feels different. This yeah. It feels different. But see, what's, what's great is I've worn these before, and I get complimented. Or someone will say, like, oh, I have the same watch, and they're wearing a stainless steel date just. See, to me, dude, it's just freaking too small. I don't Rolex up their game no nah, they they have well they have bigger stuff What's they the have the the biggest one is the yacht master 2 it's a 44 millimeter they have sky dwellers which are 42 millimeters no i'm sorry the yacht master 2 is a 44 the sky dwellers are 42 here's my favorite stuff stuff with factory uh stones on it People go nuts if they see this thing. Dude, dude, this one's ballsy, that one. It's almost like, what, America? But the, that's kind of too pink. It should have been red. It's, it is supposed to be red, but that's the closest you can get with a stone. Is that a ruby there? It, it's a ruby. Ruby and blue sapphires. That was badass. Like, Brad is a 
pretty cool guy. Like I've, I've listened to his podcast for a couple years now. And so it was a goal one day. Again, I didn't know how or when I was gonna get on here, but I did. I'm glad we did. I'm not sure when, it'll, when it will air. I will uh, post on my Instagram when this airs and when I know it's airing and I'll tag a link so you guys can listen to it. I thought it was really good. Uh, and I'm looking forward to doing some more like this. So I think that's probably it for today. You wanna go to the gym? Let's get some food, go to the gym. Yeah.